y'all i keep trying to make my lash on this one arm stay up like the other one and it just won't stay up or maybe i just have a motherfucking lazy eye cherry bombs it is me cherry and i'm back with another story time for this quarantine so if it's your first time seeing me please go ahead and hit the subscribe button please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can find my content and then also turn on your post notifications because i am sporadic as ever with how i post i'm trying to cuss in the first minute so i can get paid by youtube i'm very sporadic with how i post and if you don't have on your notifications you'll miss me and if you do have one on you still might miss me but just turn them on regardless so anyway i am back today to tell you guys the final part of the story time which is i got cheated on so bad so bad but on the bright side i've been in great spirits and this situation has no longer been affecting me or taking my energy i'm just simply telling it because I don't want to leave it unfinished and YouTube is pretty therapeutic for me at this point so it's just like I literally can just tell it and then it's like done it's over with so before we get started I just want to make it known disclaimer I'm not telling this to be malicious I'm not telling this so people can go try and find the parties involved I do not want to be contacted by any of the parties involved I'm simply just telling this to release my side of a pretty traumatic story and just keep it pushing from there so i think where i left off in the last story i know that i told you all that the girl had put a spell on my ex she used <laughs> witchcraft on my ex y'all these bitches are crazy these bitches are crazy and they want to be you and they'll do anything to try to get close to you or in your circle because they're really weird they, they be wanting your life like they be wanting your life they be want to be near you whether it's making the same friends as you dating the same people as you trying to work at the same jobs as you like bitches be weird but anyway so i think that's where i left off was she had put the spot on him whoop -de -whoop, me and him was not talking so somewhere in the midst me and him had started communicating again me and danny had started communicating again you guys i know it took me a while just know like i said last time you'll know when you're ready to leave so it took me a couple tries but when i finally was like i'm done i was <laughs> i was done done so what had happened was all that happened okay so me and him had started going on dates again had started hanging out all the time again and of course it was under the promises that oh i'll change i'll do better like me and that girl aren't talking anymore whatever whatever all the typical things that guys say to try and like win you back or win you over when they've messed up so he was telling me that him and the girl were not talking me and him were hanging out a lot and we were trying to work on rekindling things so he was taking me out to eat he was taking me out on little fun dates around the city he was taking me like we were just like we were going to basketball game. we were literally doing we were just doing a little bit of everything so i'm like okay we can do all this but i need to know that you're not about to keep trying to go back and forth back and forth so he ends up messaging crimson now if you guys don't know who crimson is then you need to go watch the other two story times first and then come back to this one if you don't know who danny is or crimson is you need to watch those two first so he messages her and he's like hey i know that we haven't spoken in a long time niggas he's like hey i know we haven't spoken in a long time but i just want you to know that we can't keep doing what it was that we were previously doing because i'm working on things with cherry and you know i'm focused on fixing our relationship and i wish you the best whatever we could do so he sends her that okay you guys keep this in mind so in the meantime me and danny are hanging out a whole lot i'm coming over to his place and i know i had said in the last video i was just noticing stuff when i would come over to the crib and females just trust your intuition because your intuition do not be lying sis okay do not be lying okay so i was just noticing little things okay so i would notice there would be so danny's friend was staying with him at the time cool there should be two towels in the bathroom while i'm counting three 
I'm coming over, it would be like, you know, it's it's extra towel lingering every time I'm coming over. So I peeped that. Okay. So I had went through his cabinets in the bathroom. Mind y'all, like I said in the last video, it had got to the point I was going through the trash. I was going through the cabinets. I was looking under the bed. I was literally checking every, every time I came over there, I was doing a thorough check of the whole crib. And honestly, if you have to do all that, you shouldn't even want to be with that person if you have to do all that. But I was doing all that. I was that traumatized and I was just really trying to, I was really trying to make something work that, all the red flags was already there that that's not what the direction I was supposed to be trying to go. So it had been a time I had come over to the crib. It's a makeup wipe sitting on the counter. And I'm smart. I know how bitches are. And bitches be trying to be petty. So I'm over here. I'm like, why would there be a makeup wipe? A used makeup wipe sitting on the counter. So I start going through the trash can to try and find the little the wrapper that it came out of. And so I can gauge when this makeup wrap ended up on this counter because it was sometime recent so it's a makeup wipe on the counter that was strike number one and i asked him about it oh da, 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 da. and he kept on blaming everything you guys he kept blaming everything on um on this girl that his friend was dealing with so i'm gonna call the girl megan i don't know her personally i'm gonna call the girl megan so he was like oh those are megan she's been coming over to stay with someone so a lot and i'm over here like Two plus two equaling 16 right now. And I know damn well two plus two don't equal motherfucking 16. So I don't know how I'm getting 16. You got me fucked. <laughs> the senses was tingling. I was like, this thing got me fucked up. And it was more so, I was insulted that the lies he was telling were not good lies. So I'm just like, bro, you really, you're trying my intelligence right now. So I'm strike number one, okay? So I come over again. I look through the bathroom cabinets and I find a box of tampons. He again, oh, those are Megan's, um, she's always over here. Megan's always over? Megan's always over, but I have not once met Megan, and I'm always over here. So, Megan don't be over here a lot. Then you also said, Megan has a crib of her own. Why would Megan, with a crib of her own in the same city as a dude that she talking to, bring a whole entire box of tampons from her crib to that dude's friend's house and she has a crib of her own megan don't be over here a lot because i've never met megan i've never once run into megan not motherfucking one time megan don't be over here that was strike number two so the box of tampons i said you know what i'm gonna do because i know these tampons belong to motherfucking crimson the the makeup wipe the makeup wipe, the box of tampons, the towel, it was extra toothbrush in there. I said, this belongs to a bitch who's trying to mark her territory. That's what this is. This belongs to a bitch who's trying to make it known that she be over here. And Megan don't have no reason to be doing all that. And Megan also has her own crib. So I said, I know that this belonged to Crimson Ho ass. So I said, you know what? I said, okay. So I drew, I went on the inside of the tampon box and I had drawn a heart. I didn't draw anything crazy. I didn't write nothing crazy. I just drew a little heart on the inside of the tampon box, but I drew it in a place where when you open the box, you would see it. And the reason I did this was because I said, if this is Megan's box of tampons, Megan is going to go off on the frame because she's going to be wondering who the fuck drew in her tampon box. But if this is Crimson's motherfucking shit, Crimson not gonna go off because she already knew what the fuck it was when she started being the side bitch to the relationship. Crimson already playing her role, so she not gonna go off if this is her box of tampons. That's literally, I was like, you know what? I know if I draw this picture in here and I don't hear nothing about this motherfucking tampon box and nobody is going off about this motherfucking picture, then I know it belongs to Crimson because she's not going to go off because she was okay with the situation throughout the duration of the situation. She already knew I lived with the man. She knew that she was the side piece. She knew that I was in the picture. She knew that I had been in the picture for five years. So I was like, you know what? There's only one person who's not going to go off about this motherfucking picture. Then it would be other little things. Okay, it was the extra toothbrush. His friend would go in and out of town. The toothbrush... The extra toothbrush was not going with the friend. 
So I'm like, mm, okay. You said your friend's out of town this week? Okay. When's he coming back? Mm, four days? Okay. But his toothbrush is here. Oh, he has another one? Mm, uh, okay. So whose extra towel is that? Oh, it's, it's Megan's. Okay. So what about the makeup wipes? I would be grilling, y'all. When I say I was motherfucking grilling, because every time he would come up, because it was, and then it was one time I came over, it would be, it was all kinds of little shit. The girl was leaving, she had a toothbrush, a towel, body wash, a box of tampons. Mind you, Crimson has her own place too. But baby ain't got no car. So I'm like, okay, so she over here a lot. I'm over here a lot. The only person who's not over here a lot that you saying that is over here is Megan. Because I've never met Megan. So she just was not adding up. So time goes on. We hanging out. We chilling. Whatever. Like I said. Was trying to rekindle things. I'm ignoring all the flags. All my intuition. Stuck on stupid y'all. That's what I was. I was stuck on stupid. I'm just ignoring everything. So... Time going on, we hanging out, we chilling, we chilling, we chilling, da da da, whatever, whatever. But I just kept getting these weird feelings. So I periodically, I just kept on trying to be like, hey, I don't think we need to do this anymore. Like, as for the relationship, I would be like, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling this anymore. I don't think I want to do this anymore. Um, I don't trust you. I can't be with nobody I can't trust, whether it comes to friendships, families, relationships, business partnerships. I was just like, I don't trust you. Like, I don't like the way you move in. I don't respect the way that you've been moving. Like, I had kept trying to end things. And we would just keep going back and forth and just keep coming back together. So, but my intuition just kept telling me. I was like, yo, something, he's not, like, he's telling you that he's trying to change. He's trying to do better, I, I, whatever, whatever. But he's still fucking off. And I feel it. So I'm at work one day, y'all. I get a text while I'm at work. The text says, hey, I've been lying to you. Um, I still been messing with Crimson from Danny. I said, oh, okay, bet. At this point, because at this point, I already know this. I'm not stupid, like I already know this. You keep lying and saying you're not messing with this girl, but it's like, nothing's adding up so i get the text or whatever i'm not even tripping off the text i say okay but i did call him because i just want i want to hear it from your mouth i want to hear you tell me this because i've been saying this and you've been denying it and now you're telling me otherwise so i call him y'all i call him he at the bitch house Y'all, these niggas be having the audacity, okay? I call him, he got the dish house. So, I'm like, so, you been, what, what, I'm like, what was the point? I've been trying to cut things off. What was the point if you knew that you was going to keep fucking with her? What was the point? And trying to keep me around and trying to beg me to stay when I've been trying to cut things off. So, in the background, y'all, in the background, Crimson, He's lying to you, Cherry. He's been lying to you. He's lying to you. And I'm over here like, okay, I ain't call for all that. Because I know that. You know that. He been lying to you too. I don't know why, y'all. I literally don't know why this girl, throughout the whole duration of everything that was going on, why she always took so much pride in the fact that this man was lying to me as if he was not also lying to her. Like, literally, it was always like... Uh, he be lying to you uh, da, da. she she like she one of those like if if only she knew like one of them girls that feel like oh they got the one up because you're getting lied to when they're getting they're literally in the same position as you it's like girl we both look stupid as hell she in the background talking about oh he lying to you he lying to you whatever i'm ignoring all that that's not what the fuck i called for i called because i want to know what was your purpose if you knew you were still gonna be going back and forth. So me and him have a conversation. She in the background flexing, talking about, get out, get out. And I'm over here like, I mean, I don't know why she, 
I'm literally in the phone like I don't know why she's doing all this extra like trying to put on this act because she gonna be up under you in two days shut the fuck up all this extra shit y'all can do this when i get off the phone y'all got plenty of time he got off the phone and i blocked him off everything i block him off everything y'all this man two days later shows up to my job shows up to my job and it's like um basically same thing you guys literally just putting on a show just like oh you know i don't because mind you when i called when he was like oh you know i've been when he texted me and was like, oh, I still be messing with so-and-so, what he told me was, I've been in a relationship with so-and-so. So I said, oh, okay, bet. Go do that. Go have fun with that. Blocked him off everything. And then sometime during that time before or maybe after I called, the girl had also took it upon herself. Crimson had also took it upon herself to type up a message on Instagram from one of his pages and tell me, um, you know, I think it's best if if you and me don't communicate, like acting as Danny. Oh, I think it's best if you and me don't communicate. Um, you know, I feel like me and Crimson's relationship is worth pursuing. Ah, ah, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, that's cool. I don't know why y'all trying to explain this to me. That's cool. I already knew this. I peeped this shit. Two days later, he shows up to my job, and. I get off work and I see his car. At first, I didn't see his car. So I get off work. I look across the parking lot and I see his car. And I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. But I don't even pay no mind. I go, I chill with one of my coworkers in her car for a second. We're, we're not even talking about nothing that's going on. I don't even tell her what's going on. But I did say, hmm, that's my ex car. And then I had went to get something out of my car and he had left this keychain that I liked on the handle it was his keychain but he left it on the handle of my car on like some i guess like to sentimental like oh i peeped that you like this like wanted me to know that he was there type thing so i pick up the keychain i'm looking at it and i looked at my coworker. i said my ex has been over here came to my yeah my, my ex came to my job today i know it because that's the only place this would have came from. She's like, you know, you're good, da, 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 whatever. I'm like, no, I'm cool. Like, let's go to your car, whatever. So we just talking about just work and other shit. So we're in the car for probably about 40 minutes, maybe an hour. I get out the car. His car by now, I have peeped his car. His car is still parked in the same place. And it's parked like way in another parking lot. So I go to get in my car and leave. Basically, fast forward, because I'm not trying to go into a whole lot of details. Um, we end up, he ends up flagging my car down and basically goes on a same thing. I can do better. I'm not going to mess with that girl anymore. And I'm looking, I'm like, you just told me y'all was in a relationship two days ago. That's supposed to be your whole ass girlfriend. So... I don't, I don't even know why you at my job right now. You said that's what you want to go do, and I'm I'm giving you the freedom to go do it. Like I'm not I'm not tripping. I'm not mad. I've I've been trying to be like, all right, like this ain't for me because you disrespectful. You can go do that. So he's outside of my car and he's saying, no, that's not what I want. That's not my girlfriend. I don't want to be with her. She ruins my life. She's making me miserable. I haven't like nothing's been going right since I met her all this cash shit okay so we saying all that and i'm just like you literally you know you just been going back and forth you gonna whatever you need to say to her to make her stay you know what to say and then whatever you've been saying to me to make me stay you know what to say so at this point it's just a battle of who's gonna keep dealing with it and it ain't gonna be me so i shut the whole shit down but i'm recording what he's saying as he is speaking to me so i said you know what you know i'm i'm not really trying to hear all this um you know i'm about to go home i hope you make it home safely do not come back over here to my job we part ways but mind you so i have recorded and i didn't even i didn't even get to record the whole interaction i probably recorded about i recorded like eight minutes of it it was probably about 45 minutes long i recorded eight minutes of it so at first I'm sitting on the recording, I'm sitting on the recording and I'm like, you know what, 
y'all i had a childish i'm sorry y'all had a, i had a, i guess it's a childish moment but i'm like this girl takes so much pride in the fact that he's lying to me oh he's lying to you cherry he's lying to you uh, nah, 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 nah. she takes so much pride in that so i said okay um i'm i'm gonna send this to her because it was always oh he's lying to you i could it, it it would have been a different situation, I've said this in other videos, if it wasn't for the fact that the girl Crimson was always trying to be purposely very spiteful. Um, you know, when she would message me, it would be, oh, I can tell you things he said about you that would make you sick. So that would be her favorite thing to say. I can tell you things that would make you sick and ah, da 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 Or, um, oh, that's our nigga. Like, all this just very nasty, spiteful shit. So you know what? I said, hmm okay i'm gonna give her a taste of her own medicine so i sent her the recording i sent her screenshots of things that he had been saying um about you know wanting to save our relationship that things that he had been saying about not wanting her and you can literally hear in the audio you can hear him saying the things that he be saying and then i also sent um i just sent all the like mad screenshots of just messages on messages on messages what i said with it was please tell your man not to come back to my job he showed up tonight please tell him to leave me alone so this girl's response to me sending her things was um don't send me this childish shit and da 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 da, -da. and i'm like thinking to myself honestly because i'm like you know what because at this point i'm i'm done with the situation i no longer have any energy to give to this i don't want to give this any more energy so i'm not even about to go back and forth but in my head i'm like child but it's not childish all the times where this girl's literally waited till purposely waited on christmas eve to send messages screenshots pictures talking about some basically like ha ha i got your nigga it wasn't childish then it wasn't childish when she was sending stuff on um, on Thanksgiving talking about, oh, basically, again, haha, I got your nigga. It wasn't childish then. It wasn't childish when she was saying, oh, me and your man are going to be together. It wasn't childish, not none of the times. Now the little baby feelings got hurt because the whole time she was under the impression, because again, this is what he was telling her, the whole time he's under the impression, well, she's under the impression that he doesn't like me he don't want to be with me no more he wish i would have never came back from new york the whole time he's saying all that it was all fun and games it was all oh he don't even like her for real da, 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 da. and then when you get a taste of the things he be saying to me about you and now it's childish so i said okay i just left it at that i was like okay you know that's fine or whatever because my thing is crimson literally made it a point in 2019 to <laughs> i'll give it to sis sis made sure she fucked up every holiday there was for my ass okay halloween she showed up we ended up fighting thanksgiving she sent messages christmas eve she sends more messages particularly one of her favorites which was from my birthday that's what she said this one's one of my favorites it's from your birthday it wasn't childish then okay so she sends all that stuff um two days before the new year we end up in another altercation back to back to back the universe was just like you need to stop dealing with this nigga so i send all that or whatever and she does her little oh this is childish and basically it's like you don't know what i've been through because of this situation it's almost like the way that she came at it was as if i was imposing on their relationship <laughs> people are delusional not to mention during this time during while all this was going on before um before i had even or maybe it was around the time that i had blocked him off everything some somewhere around that time that he'd ended up showing up to my job and i blocked him or whatever um somewhere around that time so he had been very adamant about coming with me to coachella and i had invited him out there with me originally uh, along with me and one of my other friends who also had a significant other so we was all gonna make it like a group chip so in the meantime he's like basically like just being very adamant about wanting to go to coachella 
but crimson is also making it a point to try and take him on trips as well on some like they like literally like on some like oh this is my nigga type shit well sis your nigga has two girlfriends at this point literally like you're flying him out to vegas and he's trying to fly out to cali yo yo nigga got two girlfriends at this point so yeah it, it was just y'all it was getting way too messy see so when he had ended up showing up at my job that was when i told him i was like look i'm changing my number tomorrow i don't want any further contact i don't have nothing else to say to you um the lines have already been crossed way too much and because the lines have been crossed in this intense matter that they've been crossed i literally like ain't no oh um we'll be friends you and her will date and then we'll be friends or you know me and you will date and you and her will be friends or ain't ain't no none of that about to happen so i was just like honestly i don't want to be involved with anything y'all got going on y'all are more than welcome to do whatever it is that y'all been fighting so hard to do and just don't include me so i changed my number after that and i just like he was blocked off everything number changed and um and yeah, and honestly, what I will say, what was the most hurtful about the situation outside? Of, I mean, I, of course, outside of getting cheated on, because getting cheated on in itself is hurtful. But just the fact that the lies were so the lies were so bad, but then also like a lot of the lies painted me out in a bad light to like his friends and people around him. It just made me feel like, damn, like I really been riding for you like all these y'all five years been riding for you all these years and like. It was like one of those moments where it's like, damn, like, this is how you do me. Like, he had basically, um, I don't think I ever said this in the other two story times, but the friends were, and I mean, of course, your, your nigga's friends are not your friends. Y'all need to always make sure you understand that. Keep that in mind. Don't ever think your nigga's friends are your friends because they will see shit going on and they're never going to tell you because their loyalty is with him. And you can't be mad at them for that because that's just what it is. But I think what hurt me, honestly, was I feel like even though they weren't going to tell me, of course, I still felt like, damn, like nobody could at least been like, hey, bro, like, I mean, you my nigga, but like, what you doing right now? Like, that dude, like, that's that's not cool. So it was kind of like, damn, like, y'all all don't know me for five years. Y'all all been hanging around me, like, getting to, like, we all be going out places or whatever. And nobody even thought to even just be like, hey, bro, like, chill out a little bit. The other thing that honestly made it to the point where I would be like, I would be embarrassed to come around his friends because I knew the type of things that he was telling them. Um, at one point, like, I had figured out the things that he'd been telling them. And it's like, damn, like, you don't respect me enough to not have me looking stupid in front of all your friends like you had everybody basically he had everybody thinking that i had come back from new york because financial hardship and new york just didn't work out for me and like he was just helping me out because things didn't work out financially and i'm like i was doing i literally was doing fine in new york i only solely came back for danny that was the whole entire reason that I moved back to a whole nother state. And what I will say from this situation, you guys, what I've learned, don't ever, unless that nigga got a ring on your finger, do not be relocating for niggas. Do not relocate for niggas. Unless he got a ring on your finger, is planning to put a ring on your finger, y'all, you know, maybe y'all got a child, something, something like that. Unless he is doing the things that a, a, that a dude should be doing to make you want to relocate, do not relocate for a dude. Because that is what I did and I got embarrassed as fuck. His birthday, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year. That's why I was like, literally, I was like, I'm not bringing any of this into the New Year with me. And honestly, what I can say is everybody who was affected by the situation, I do wish the best. Like, I don't have... Um, any ill intention toward anybody. I don't have any hatred towards anybody. I don't have any bad feelings towards anybody because I genuinely have just like I've been fortunate enough to be able to just let the situation go like I haven't I haven't been putting my energy into being Bitter about it or to vibrating low because of the situation like it's just 
I literally don't have any more energy to give the situation and I don't want to give the situation any more energy. So at this point, I've just really moved on. But honestly, I'm telling this story so that if anybody else is going through similar situations. I hope that you are able to see the flags and stop while you're ahead because you just, you don't want to get that far in. You don't want to get that far in with somebody and be getting lied to or be getting played or be going through a whole bunch of just like lies and uh, betrayal and distress like you just don't want to if you don't have to do that don't do that I hope everybody gets to experience um, healthy relationships honestly I hope everybody gets to experience that it's a beautiful thing and yeah honestly that's all I have to say about this so so I hope you guys all get to experience genuine healthy loyal happy relationships you guys I know that in the future I will get to experience it again um I'm happy that I've experienced it once before even though it um didn't end well it's okay so I hope you guys learn from my video from my story this is the end of this don't ask me no more questions about this I'm not talking about this no more I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next story time Grinding, I'm getting dope. Yeah. What the fuck you think we in it for? Falling on them like I'm 24. Oh, wow. Ain't no way in hell you'll stop this blow. Nah, nah. Got it jumping like Geronimo. Woo. If you hating on this.